Hello and welcome to Tech News. What AMD's focus to for data centers might mean to end custom and customer for CPU for for normal PC parts is, in my opinion, not very good, because you know data centers. That's where the money is. That where the big money is. You're selling two thousand dollar part as an epic epic cpu for example or a lot of gpus which amd is focusing currently on mid-range not really uh, great for enthusiasts as well because nvidia won't have a competition in the high end right now because intel and amd will be uh, will be all battling for Kind of the 60, uh, 60 CPU, let's say. If you got 4060 or something like that in that segment, there will be AMD and NVIDIA and Intel battling. NVIDIA will be laughing from from the top with with all their CUDA, CUDA performance. Which AMD would love to steal. Because that's always also good for data centers as well. Don't forget, unified RDNA and cDNA, it's good for data centers as well. But focusing on epics, you're not gonna buy yourself uh, such an expensive server grade CPU. Do you would you even want such a high power CPU as an epic? No, not really. And there's a lot of money, a lot of money in it. You just have to face it. There might not be right times for for consumer CPUs. With uh, after after the debacle with nine thousand dollar nine thousand series release releasing with essentially being slower than seven thousand series, more efficient in some regards, in some not so much. But really slower, <laughs> or maybe on par, but more expensive. So that's not really great prospect, right? And yeah, this is just the Tom's Hardware article is just in the background. But I don't really think that Lisa Su they're not doing anything malicious for the for their company. They just want bigger profits as any company would and right now data centers with all the AI boom although they're also building AI CPUs and AI <laughs> AI specific GPUs which is very laughable so it's all computed in on, on GPUs right now pretty much yeah so I don't see a bright future for for consumer CPUs, for enthusiast PCs, what are we gonna do if if AMD is gonna stop producing CPUs? They might not, because they're also they're also doing PlayStation and Xbox APUs right now. But who knows with the next generation what will happen with them? What is Xbox? Is even Xbox gonna make a new console? Is even Sony, Sony for sure, probably, but is Xbox going to make a new console when it's essentially a PC at this point? Who knows? So everything is kind of in the air and with the inflation and with everything rising so massively, not many people are actually building PCs. That's where the revenue comes from and yeah, if you don't have a revenue what you're gonna do you're gonna turn where the revenue is and those are data centers they're always building companies are always expanding some companies it's just natural at this point set where it started with the enthusiast but yeah we will see we will see what happens I'm gonna be crossing my fingers that I'm wrong and the next generation of CPUs from both 
Intel and AMD are going to be awesome. And the next generation of GPUs is going to be affordable. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, we're kind of stuck with what we have right now. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.